Oh, hello. Welcome to another daily vlog. Daily vlog. It's day five. I'm still on holiday and I'm still moving this boat. But we're now in the Grand Union heading up towards Birmingham. So a little bit familiar to me because I've done this before. But it's, yeah, it's an odd sort of deja vu. Some people were asking me yesterday whether my leg would I'd hurt myself or whatever, but I, I just slipped in, just a bit of a bruise, that's, that's it. But thanks, thanks for being so caring. I tried fixing the stern gland, tightened the nuts either side, bolts either side, and it worked for a while, but now it's just dripping away again. There's a pub back there called The Black Boy. It's not pub of the week. Got the knoll locks coming up very shortly, which couldn't come at a better time because I'm absolutely freezing. <laughs> Here at the bottom of knoll locks, I did see a load of uh, CRT guys hanging around, and I was thinking, I was actually thinking, oh, because I'm really cold, I want to get working, I want to get on those locks, it's one of my favourite things. But it turns out they were just um, getting a working boat through and then sort of carrying on. So they said uh, I wouldn't get any help anyway. <laughs> so I just, I love the challenge of doing it on my own. And at the moment, I need to sort of get some kind of warmth from somewhere. And it's just great exercise. So, you know, why would you turn that down? This is a rare sight, a ladder that's not covered in gunge. <laughs> right now we're at the top of Noel Locks, so I can give you a little fun fact, and that is that there's only five locks in this trip um, and 15 miles travelled, but it took 10 hours. Why? Well, you'll find out pretty soon. So this is Solihull. Amazing, isn't it? You wouldn't believe that. But there is a dirty great motorway over there, so... Right, we're just in Catherine de Barnes and I'm going to moor up exactly where I moored up two years ago uh, and have some lunch. There is a pub here, but again, not pub of the week material. I'm having to go really, really slowly because there's a lot of rubbish around and uh, if you go straight ploughing right through it, you end up just picking up bags and stuff that just wraps around your propeller. And the weed hatch on this beast is a little bit difficult to get to. I'm sure I will show you that at one stage in the future. But fingers crossed we get through this without having to stop. I love Birmingham, I love the people. It's a great place to go out. Fantastic bars and pubs. But they sure have a problem with rubbish.
don't want to worry you too much, but it's getting dark and we've still got a mile to go. And I don't think the any lights are working on the boat, so I'm just hoping that we've got some street lights in a minute. And so, will we make it in the dark to the Mori? Well, you have to tune in next time to find out. Yes, I'm leaving it on a cliffhanger, and also I'm having a day off, so this next one will be in a couple of days. Cheers, bye.